what the 21 gene recurrence score data have shown us in very large trials, including Taylor X, are that those women with lymph node negative breast cancer whose tumors are hormone receptor positive and HER2 negative and have low risk, uh, what we call recurrence scores, may safely avoid chemotherapy. What we're also finding is that it's not necessarily limited to women. Uh, men and women with breast cancer, we can translate these findings. Additionally, we know that those with node positive disease prognostically uh, do well with low risk genomic profiling as well. And uh, so we're, we're increasingly able to further identify people that we can de-escalate therapy in and not give them chemotherapy and potentially spare toxicity. Uh, we also know that we really need to use the clinical risk in conjunction with the genomic risk. And as uh, some physicians say, doctors can't stop being doctors and we can't solely use a number. So while the vast majority of uh, patients that we see, we can say, okay, if this is low risk, you don't need anything. If this is high risk, you uh, do need chemotherapy. Um, in addition to endocrine therapy. Those patients that fall within the middle, we know, especially for example, those patients under 50 who may not have achieved menopause, those are the patients that we need to escalate therapy, whether it's giving them a second modality of endocrine therapy or whether it's adding chemotherapy. And those are all things that these genomic identifiers help us with.